right now, not gonna lie, our first uh, morning in Montana, Eastern Montana, and it's about way colder than I'm used to. So I don't know how cold that is, but that's cold. So I'm trying to stay warm. And yeah, so here's the deal. So Chuck and I, last night, Chuck, Charles, Chucky, we uh, met up in town last night at about 10.30. Chuck rolled in, we were a little tired. We crashed in our trucks in the front seat. We apologize for not getting any video because we were tired. <laughs> So that's kind of our fault, but we're here this morning and we're glassing deer already. There's a car. <laughs> so we're hunting hard, we're hunting from the highway. <laughs> and uh, life is good. <laughs> Dude, this Montana mud, because it rained last night, it is so horrible. We tried to drive up one road and had like four inches of mud stuck around our tire. So we're pretty much just sticking to the pavement right now, just getting an idea of where we can go uh, glassing up deer. Dude, that mud is bad. Yeah, see, when you have 500 horsepower, you can go places. When you have 230 horsepower, you get stuck. Actually, it's the other way around. <laughs> My truck just buries. I didn't get stuck. <laughs> but, so here's the deal. So. Chuck and I are in Eastern Montana right now. Hold on, be serious. Here's the deal. What? I was gonna try to just be serious for a sec. Cause we need something. <laughs> here's All right. the deal. So here's the deal. We're in Eastern Montana right now. Uh, it's just Chuck and I. We were supposed to have my dad and Kelly along, but things came up, neither of them could make it. So we ventured clear over here and we are freezing right now. It is cold, probably should put on some more clothes. Uh, we met in town last night, late. Uh, both of us just passed out. It was not ideal situation. Obviously, we wish we would had some video for you guys just to uh, capture us looking like zombies. But we woke up this morning, drove out here. Uh, we're a long ways from town now. And we glassed up a little four point and a good bull and some cows and some does. And we're just trying to stay warm, trying to see what we can see right now. And uh, probably gonna just kind of stick to the highway here for a little bit today, just to uh, try and cover some ground, kind of figure out where we're at. We've never been in this area before. We kind of just pick a spot on the map and we're here, so. So I just asking John if he got a case for his gun. John. We all mess around. Jeez. Yeah, it's a little overkill, I think. I guess if you're gonna ship it to Egypt to shoot camels, so I guess you're safe. <laughs> we don't we don't mess around. See, here's my philosophy. You do thing things once and you do it right. So that being said. Chuck is giving me crap, but I'm telling you, this sucker right here will withstand Hiroshima, <laughs> Afghan bombs, whatever we're gonna throw at it, a nuke. It's it's safe, I'm telling you. So this that is sex in a box right there. That is sex in a box. That's great. Tell us what we're doing. Oh. Or what we've been doing and then. We have been talking about women. <laughs> John's problem with women. They just don't seem to ever work out. <laughs> we're just enjoying this nice, cool, crisp Montana day air glassing for deer that we're not seeing hopefully it's because they're just bedded down can't see them 
Hopefully it's not because there just isn't that many deer. I think you've seen, what? About 10 or 12 this morning. Yeah. That's not very good, really. But we'll see what we can turn up in this spot. It's a different spot. Well, it's, I guess it's on the back side. The heck were we? We were behind us over here. Oh, quite a ways. Yeah. We'll see what this spot turns up. We're just scouting. I not shake. I made a stone. I don't break. It was a tradition that was passed down from generation to generation. Something we relied on every fall to fill the freezer, hang out with friends and family, something that bonded us and brought us all together. Hunting with family is my longest lasting tradition. I mean, I remember looking forward to opening day of rifle season more than Christmas morning. Hunting is just something that we've grown up with in our families. And we love the opportunity to get out here and do this every year. And it's, it's a lot more than just antlers. Tradition to me is spending time in the outdoors with close friends and family, passing it on to the next generation. The early morning sunrises nobody else gets to see. Blacktails and elk are definitely a big part of that for me, but I love to go to new places too. I like the adventure and exploring new things, so that's what tradition is to me. Hunting is on my mind 365 days a year, from my first hunts as a rookie hunter, learning the ropes, to reminiscing about taking the kids on our spring hikes, or just sitting on the couch in late October, as I'm sure I'll be getting a nearly guaranteed call from the wife that she just dumped another big blacktail. All right, so here's the deal. We are just ate some lunch, taking a little break here. We're glassing, uh, just trying to see if we can find some deer. But we have been driving all over the place this morning, just trying to uh, find a place that we actually wanted to hunt where there wasn't people and where there might hold some animals. So uh, finally found that spot. Hopefully we can churn something up here. We'll see. Um, but other than that, uh, it's new country to us we've never been here so everything's just kind of up in the air at this point and uh hopefully we'll find something here soon worth looking at we did see one little small four point buck this morning but he was moving but he was just a little dink so anyways we're gonna keep glassing Got a decent buck that we're gonna try and shoot here. Five hundred. He's the one on the left.
small buck is the one on top. He's to the left. And there's a doe. Too late. Hey, d huh? Next time you make a stock on a buck, you can't just get out in the open. And fight, I, dude, I thought they were in the trees. No, they were on top. I, I was telling you up there. John, 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 oh. John. <coughs> My bad. God. I almost. What are we doing? Hold on. Well, <clears throat> my gun's over one in Montana. <laughs> That's how it is right now. Um, I'm not sure of its name yet, but we're going to name it something real fast. Probably like hot sally or something i don't know because it ain't it ain't hot though anyways we just spotted two bucks in the truck chuck did and snuck down had a 480 yard shot well they actually ran out a little bit probably 5 520 i don't know i held just on top of its back after i dialed and they ran off so uh i'm thinking i missed shot over i shot over it but you win some and you lose some, you know? Like, you gotta keep this positive because we got bucks sparring over here. We have some more behind camp. So we're gonna go look and see if we can find another one that I can miss. truck good I recharged all the batteries that were 50% and not even touch yeah <laughs> all those good ones even the Sony ones all of them yeah how does a battery lose charge I swear my <clears throat> Canon camera my batteries I charge them and leave them in the bag for months and they wouldn't lose a charge yeah I know these Sony's just drain quick Tells me it's the batteries, however they're built is bad. Yeah. I hope that light doesn't come back on my truck in the morning and be pissed. My ABS light's been coming on, I don't know why. Has it? Campbell's chunky soup that eats like a meal. That stuff 
I brought some chili to do what you're doing. Just because I remember you did that in Idaho. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'm going to bring chili and do what Chuck's doing. Yeah, you just got to stir it. Just got to keep stirring it so it don't burn. If you have a kid, a boy, you need to name him Kyle. <laughs> 